May 15th, tw uh, May 15th, 2022, 3.40pm. I wake up in my room feeling restless, more so than usual. Just sitting on my bed staring blank at the ceiling for nearly 30 minutes. Just feeling bored. And due to this boredom, I began to crave some sort of quick satisfaction. Something I think that I need since in the past providing me with a rush of dopamine and other feelings of positivity. Only, I was denied that very thing. This had me thinking about myself and how I became bored in the first place. Was it loneliness, unfulfillment, or was it just because the person I wanted to do something with already had other plans that I wasn't involved in? I mean, it makes sense, like, they are their own person after all, and even if that wasn't the case, recently I made things complicated due to listening to hearsay from other people, so I wouldn't want to deal with me either right now, but I'm getting sidetracked. Today I'm talking about boredom, and how it's something that people don't inherently get. It's develop mindset from your own environment bogging you down. I remember something my dad said to me once when I was younger after the whole debacle with the unnamed person. Uh, he only told me, boring people get bored, and you aren't boring at all. And I fully believe that to an extent, but I'll get into that later. This phrase for some reason stuck with me for a very long time, had me realize that I'm only bored at this moment because I would depend on others for my serotonin boost instead of relying on myself and doing what I think is fun. So with this in mind, I decided to do something I haven't done in a long time. Skate. Skating was something fun that I've been doing for as long as I can remember. And only recently is when I feel like I started getting decent at it. In the past, I would always bust my ass trying to do tricks in one go believing they were easy, but that very obviously is not the case. I decided to skate to the park since being cooped up in the house for so long definitely isn't good for your mind and body. <laughs> I know this is true because back then I went outside and got bitches. Now I'm inside and I'm, I'm depressed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've definitely noticed a change in mindset after all the COVID and quarantine stuff started. Like I became more shallow in how I perceive things and even stopped socializing as much as I would have liked to. And if you have social anxiety like I did, not seeing people for like two years really damages how you interact with everyone. And it caused me to basically drift away and become more of a recluse than I already was. Oh, fucking squirrel. These things are the perfect combination for becoming a bored in my opinion. Becoming a bored? Becoming bored in my opinion, since you're alone and you end up in your own head a lot. And since I tend to overthink things and talk down to myself, that really wasn't good for me. All the ambitions and enthusiasm I had vanished because I couldn't, or more accurately, I refused to do anything to get me excited anymore, thus leading to the aforementioned boredom. Boredom, as I found through personal experience, leads people to do things they really wouldn't do usually. There's that desperation for something different you now have, and it nags at you until you find that consistent source of entertainment and good vibes. This period is where you begin to learn more about yourself and what kinds of things you do to get that thrill, that happiness in my opinion. This is the area where I begin to disagree with what my dad said. I don't think only boring people get bored. I think it's more accurate to say, People unwilling to change their current positions get bored due to remaining static in the same loop over and 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 over I don't really believe I'm a boring individual, I just think I'm a normal nigga who tends to get stuck, if that makes sense. I don't know if anyone paid attention or even remembers, but I posted a while back on my Instagram, I can't find it anymore unfortunately, that I was going to have a PMA from now on, a positive mental attitude. I wouldn't let the little things get to me anymore. Right now, I'm going out farther than I think I ever have this trail of passing unknown area just cause why not I'm bored I, mean, I wanna check out my neighborhood there's a bridge that I don't think I've ever actually walked on I wouldn't let my thoughts control how I feel because when I get down, I get bored. And boredom is only a mindset. And if you keep a positive mindset about things, you can hypothetically find enjoyment in anything. That's what I think. You won't need to always have some kind of hyper stimulant to keep you going or make you laugh since you can do all these things yourself as you are your own being and thus have power to control whatever it is you decide to do. You don't need money or anything like that to have an adventure and do something fun. A simple walk in the park should be enough to get you that feeling that you really desire. So if you feel how I used to feel, or how I did feel earlier today, try doing what I'm doing. 
get a PMA. Go outside, get some air. Don't just stay locked up in your room like some kind of insane asylum patient or whatever, just strapped down to your chair, looking at these blank walls and ugly posters you have hung up. Go do something different. Get some excitement. Try to see a positive mindset with things. If you're around my age, you most likely don't live alone either, so just go and talk to your family. Do something. Alright. I think that's it. That's all I have to say, probably. Fuck boredom.